Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to see how to configure a route reflector. So this is not much different from how we configure route reflectors in the native CLI. Just that um, in today's video, we are going to see how to use um, Cisco NSO to configure a route reflector. And in the end, we get to realize that um, this is no, it's no different, okay, from the native CLI. Just that this is going to give us uh, a different level of abstraction and uh, and the ability to review our configuration before pushing to the device. So without wasting much time, I'm going to access my route reflector. So that's where I'm going to start the initial configuration from. So um, it will take some time to open, and I can filter to config, and I go to router. I go to router, then I go to BGP, then I go to the AS, then I click on enter. And as you can see, I've navigated to configuration mode, to router mode, specifically BGP, and I'm under the BGP um, configuration mode. So as you can see, I have some neighbors already configured over here. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on edit config, and in the edit config window, I'm going to add a new device. I'm going to add the ID, which is the IP address of the route reflector. So I'll click on confirm. And now my route reflector has been added, but it's not committed yet. It's still in the commit queue. So now the next thing to do is that we need to activate um, BGP VPN V4 on the route reflector client. So I'll go to, we have our neighbor defined, which is using the peer group. As I discussed, I showed you in my previous video how um, the peer group has been configured. And I'll go back to my address family. That's where I'm going to activate the neighbor for VPN V4. So I will as well come here, go to, and you can see you have the various address families. We have IPv4, we have IPv6, we have VPNv4, VPNv6, all over there. So what I'll go, what I'll choose is that I'll click on the VPNv4 unicast. And as you can see, I have different neighbors configured over here. So I have to add the route reflector client also over here. So I'll click on add, and the same thing applies here. The ID will be the IP address of the Route reflector, sorry, the route reflector client, and I'll click on confirm. So we have the neighbor defined over here. The next thing we need to do is to activate the neighbor for VPN v4 membership. And as you can see, it's as simple as you can see over here. So I'll just click on activate. Okay. And then that's all that we have. So we can go to when we are done, we need to go to the config and then we check on the sorry, we need to go to the commit manager. And then from the native, you can see the diff that we have. As you can see, now we are adding a new neighbor for BGP um, neighborship. And then we go to the address family VPN v4. And then we have to activate a neighbor for VPN v4 membership. So what I can do is that you can just see the config. This one is a structured format. You can as well check the native config. And as you can see, um, it's calling for an error. So let's see what you have your neighbor. Line two. So let's see. Okay, so I can see that uh, we didn't specify the route reflector group. So I'll go back and do that. So let me go to BGP and the neighbor. And as you can see, I forgot to add a route reflector group. So it did not inherit any IBGP um, configuration parameters. So I'll just go inside and then uh, I'll go to edit config. And what I'll do is that I'll choose the peer group and I'll go back to my commit manager. And now back to the native config, you see that we don't have any error. And then we can see the basic native config that we can use in the iOS, Cisco iOS. Now I'm going to go and everything looks fine. So what I'll do is that I'll click on commit. 
oh sorry back to the commit manager so in the config um let me reduce the screen resolution now click on commit and so we can verify our neighborhood from here it will take some time so this is um, a route reflector client and as you can see the route reflector client so this is a route reflector and as you can see the route reflector client is up so that means i have configured um bgp and um, vpm before neighborship already on the cisco on the route reflector client which is a cisco ios xr so we can check from here So as you can see over here, I already have my route reflector client configured for VPN before neighborship. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to also configure this using Cisco IOX XR as the route reflector client. Thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video.